Crime stopping is going high tech in New Bedford. Well, the new technology gene will help police officers respond to shootings a lot faster. NBC 10's Mario Hilario was on the story today, and he joins us now live from our Bay State newsroom. Mario, you got a close look at how this all works. That's right, Patrice, and it all makes sense really when you think about it. If officers are able to respond to incidents of gunfire almost as soon as they happen, then they have a much greater chance of not only catching perpetrators, but potentially saving lives. New Bedford Police Court, like it up for our... When New Bedford Police respond to reports of gunfire, it's usually after someone has already called it in. I heard shots. I'm not sure where. It might be in my neighborhood. It might be some distance away. This technology, with near pinpoint accuracy, tells us where the shots were fired. Technology called Shot Spotter, a network of microphones that pick up the sound of gunshots as they happen and pinpoint their location. So with the new technology, when shots are fired, police will find out about it in real time. The information goes not only to the department's dispatch, but also to officers on patrol on their cruisers' computers. When a cop gets a dispatch gunshot, now he or she will go much better informed about the situation. Shot Spotter can not only record number of shots fired, but can detect weapon caliber and whether the suspect is moving or still. The DA says it will make a big difference in solving non-fatal shootings, which, because of limited resources, are typically solved at a much lower rate than fatal ones. Once we start solving shootings, non-fatal shootings, at the rate that we're solving fatal shootings, I firmly believe you'll see a markedly greater decline in gun violence. Shot Spotter will initially be installed in a four square mile area of the city concentrated where there's been a history of gun violence. It'll be a complement to a video surveillance system already in place and can be expanded as more resources are available. And the cost of implementing the program, $950,000 is being paid for through a federal grant, though after the first year, the city will have to pick up the cost of maintaining the program every year. The mayor estimates that'll be about $175,000 annually. The money will come out of the police department's budget, but officials believe it's an investment that's worth it to make the streets of the city safer. Live in our Bay State newsroom at the Standard Times in New Bedford, Mario Florio, NBC10 News.